What's going on, peeps? My name is Simon, and you're watching Soundwave TV, transforming your video experience. We're getting close to the end of the year, so I'm going to give you a breakdown of my winners list. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who had the best 2015? Well, let's start off with number 10. In no particular order. I'm just giving, giving 10 people. It's Pope Francis. Pope Francis did his... uh. Did his tour of America, and he was a total rock star. I think this is the first time the Pope's been in America in a good long while. I know the last Pope, he gave a two-week notice and peaced out. But the dude we got now, he's going everywhere. And he's on social media. He's engaging people. He's getting rid of the uh, bad apples and the clergy, the cardinals. And the bishops who aren't doing their jobs and people who aren't even Catholic respect him and he's having a strong environmental stance as well. So there you go. Number nine, the summer movies were big this year and Jurassic Park broke all kinds of numbers. I watched the movie and it was kind of rooting for the dinosaurs, you know. It's like, that's how unlikable the people were. And Mad Max was good. It was a kind of a Furiosa movie. It's like, I like Furiosa, but it was like, can we get a movie that's focused on Mad Max? Now, I like the Avengers Age of Ultron as well. It made a bunch of money. And I saw Vision on screen for the first time, and Vision looks so dope. So, there you go. Number eight, Activist. Activist had a big year this year between didn't matter if they were protesting for gay rights or protesting the Black Lives Matter movement you have a new generation of civil rights leaders they're going to look back to 2015 and this is the year they came of age moving on to number seven the city of Compton just anything Compton related had a huge year in 2015. Straight Out Compton broke black movie records. It broke it broke August movie records. It broke music biopic records. And everyone was just so afraid because it was this gangster rap group that there was going to be violence and it ended up being nothing. The violence happened at a premiere of train wreck of, of all places. Now, my one critique of Straight Outta Compton was it was just too focused on Dre and Cube. And I think it was a little inaccurate in the portrayal of Easy e in his later years. But minor nitpicks aside, awesome movie. See it when it comes to video, if you probably already have seen it. Serena Williams was number one in tennis most of the year. She won 53 out of her 56 matches and won three out of the four um, slam titles. So Serena had an awesome year. And two of the best rap albums of the year came from Dr. Dre and Kendrick Lamar, Compton the Album, and The Pimp a Butterfly. They came out of the city of Compton. So the city of Compton had an awesome year this year. Number six, Tide, Future, and Drake. Uh, Dirty Sprite 2 probably stayed in the clubs and the radios the most. Everywhere you went this year, you heard commas. Everywhere you went, you heard March Madness. And Drake, everywhere you went, you heard back-to-back. -back. You know, it's crazy when a, a dish record ends up being a hit, and he might get a Grammy out of it as well. Future and Drake did What a Time to Be Alive, the collaboration project, and Jumpman was the probably the biggest record off that uh project. Number five, the Jenner family. Dude, we saw Kylie Jenner everywhere. We saw Kendall Jenner everywhere on the um runway. And Caitlyn Jenner, formerly Bruce Jenner, became the face of the transgender movement and Regardless of what you think of their reality sh shenanigans, 
we're having a true dialogue about the place of transgenders in our society and the nature of gender fluidity, you know. What do you do when you're not comfortable in your own skin? You know, I was born a dude. I've always liked being a dude. And I've always liked uh, the girls. I would write love notes ever since I could form the alphabets. But everybody doesn't have that experience. So, trying to figure out how we're going to interact going forward. And I think she's the start of all that. Number four, the Curry family. You know... Steph Curry, I've been watching him ever since he was at Davidson playing for the Wildcats. And now the Golden State Warriors became the champions. And he's definitely cemented himself as one of the best offensive players of his generation, if not of all time. And his little daughter, Riley, is just the cutest thing. And I, he's not slick. He's trying to get Riley into the entertainment business because you always see him see her at the uh press conferences you always see her with the little instagram videos and aisha curry she made headlines saying that people should cover up a little bit more which is kind of true it's, she's just saying her preference but anyway you even see Dell curry from the charlotte hornets in a couple of commercials with uh steph curry and seth curry so definitely the curry family had a pretty good year Oh, good to go, yeah. Cool. Try to think here. Uh, number three. Empire. Uh, so what? All right. Okay, one more thing. I lost it. Okay, number three. Empire. Empire had... An amazing year. This show had fail written all over it. You had, um, it looked like Hustle and Flow, the series, and it had the most unrealistic storylines in the history of the Fox network. And mind you, this is a network that has given us Eat the Cat, Bobby's World, X Men, X Files, and the Power Rangers. You know, this whole setup about a mama. Being away from her sons for 17 years with no contact, you know, it's like, black dudes will defend their mama to the death, so I couldn't imagine that situation happening, but because Taraji P. Henson played the role of Cookie Lion so well, it made the show a hit, and, you know, Fox had just better make sure that all Taraji's checks clear, because she is the linchpin to that whole show working out. You know, the guest stars is cool, but it's Taraji's show, so do right by her. Number two, Viola Davis. She won Best Actress at the Emmys, Best Lead Actress in a Drama. And I just remember Taraji practically tackling her before the award ceremony and how to get away with murder. To get such a big award in your first season is an amazing accomplishment, and... You know, it makes you wonder, how can you build on that? But she had a wonderful year, and it's just proud seeing somebody from South Carolina make it and achieve. And considering the year we've had at South Carolina between the Charleston shooting and the floods, it's nice to see something positive come with somebody associated with South Carolina. And number one, Tom Brady. He won the Super Bowl again. And, you know, that whole deflate gate thing was hanging over his head and he's looking at suspensions and he said, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. You know, I didn't do anything wrong. You can't prove you anything wrong and made Roger Goodell look pretty silly in the process. So, okay. So, there you go. You got your um, 10 winners for 2015. What do you think? Who had the best year? Put in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're so inclined. Until next time, this is Soundwave signing off. Peace.